The Friday Night Football Frenzy is presented by Bay State Savings Bank, Herb Chambers Toyota of Auburn, and UMass Memorial Healthcare. Coming up next on the Friday Night Football Frenzy, it's a big one in Division II as the St. John's Pioneers travel to Doyle Field for a rematch with the Lemonster Blue Devils. Northbridge begins their playoff run as the Rams host the Oakmont Spartans. Holy Name and Doherty add another chapter to their great rivalry in the D4 semis. And the Grafton Indians travel to Tantasqua for a berth in the Division IV Central Mass Finals. It's playoff time. Make a memory. The frenzy starts right now. Tonight, you play for each other. You play for each other. Look. Look to your right. Look to your left. Play for one another. That's why we play. Stand together. Welcome to the Frenzy Playoff Edition. Kevin Shea and Andy Lacombe, yes, indeed. The playoffs are here. From now on, one and done. Of course, yeah. the season will continue, but really, it's one and done. You either win or you're in the other pool. The other pool with still some great games there, but we've got a good one, and it's a rematch from a week ago. It'll kick us off in Division Two. St. John's and Lemonster back up at Doyle Field on that turf, and they're ready to go from the premier sporting destination in central Massachusetts. Tim Cassidy, the keeper. Late first half, St. John's, 1917 at the half. Second half, opening kick. Nick Barton, onside kick. St. John's, Curtis Bynum recovers at the Lemons to 47. Wow, that's John going Andrioli for the throat. is the riverboat gambler. And then it's Cassidy, pump fake. Up to Cam Lucy for the score. 26-17. And there are push-ups aplenty in the student section for SJ tonight. A lot of scoring tonight overall, we'll see. Yes. Lemonster answers. Angel Colina barrels in. Cut the lead down to 26-24. St. John's driving again. Cassidy optioning it out. McBride to Conchu. Rumbling down to the Blue Devil 4. And then there's some more rumbling to be done. Cassidy following some blocks and then fights his way in. St. John's has an 11 point lead. They advance to the D2 final. 35 30. SJ. Push ups aplenty. They're counting them out. Wow. All right, so who are they going to face? Neshoba or Marlboro? Third quarter, 14 7 Neshoba. Egan Bactel with a good run. This is the Neshoba offense to a T. Five different running backs, all run hard, all get you four to seven yards of carry. Jake Fire up the middle. I've been on the fake. He's in for the touchdown. 21 7 Neshoba in front. Three different, or third different, rather, running back in these highlights. Nate Manser with a nine-yard run. And that sets up Bactel. Bouncing it to the outside. Land of six. 28-7 to Shoba in front. Marlboro. Thinking comeback. And they are doing it through the air. Brian Short to Sam Diaz. Jake Benjamin with a big stick. Two plays later. Luke Goulet. Goulet, Goulet. Taking the pitch. Smell in the end zone, upended at the one foot line. But the Panthers giving it to Goulet again. They pound it in for the touchdown, 28-14. They show about a couple big first down runs on their next possession to run it out. And the Chieftains win 28-14. They are going to the championship. Holy name and Doherty, Nick Hagan and Mila Guanagu cheering on the alma mater. We're going to hear from them in the frenzy extra next week. Couple of NFL guys. First quarter, no score. Holy name, Brendan Destitel pass almost broken up. Kevin Mensah grabs it, takes a pop. And this is one of the few non-touchdown highlights we're going to show you in this game. Holy name handoff to Thomas Lack. Up the middle, touchdown. 6-0, Naps. Doherty passing it downfield. Tariq Massenberg elevating. <laughs> Crazy height on the jump. That's a non-scoring play, but that's okay because we got one coming. 7-6 Doherty in the second quarter. Holy name handoff to Thomas Lack. 35 yards. Two-point conversion, good, 14-7, Holy Name. Tied at 14, now Holy Name handoff, Kevin Mensa and Kevin Mensa breaking free. And some speed to boot, Mensa, 57 yards for the touchdown, 20 to 14, naps. Nick David hitting Aaron Adu for Dory, great block on the edge, and Adu, how do you do? Touchdown, 22-20, Doherty. More from Doherty, Nick David. Now he hits Manny Brown. Oh, one-handed grab from Manny. And Brown's running it in. 
29-20, Doherty at the half. Third quarter, Tariq Massenberg, a one-handed catch, doing his best Odell Beckham Jr. impersonation, then Doherty of Manny Brown. Brown's going in for a touchdown. It's 36-20, Doherty. Following the kickoff, Holy Names, Kevin Mensa, he returned it 78 yards, brought down near the end zone, and it is Mensa just doing big things. Dragged down on the kick return. Doherty's pass, intercepted now by Mensa. He's returning it for a touchdown. At that point, it was 36-34, Doherty. Holy Name comes from behind to win it, 48-36. The Naps are moving on. Digest it. Hey, if we're the most physical team on this field tonight, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah! If we're the best team on this field, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah! If you guys want to be in Lemister next Saturday, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah! Joe Beveridge firing up Tantasco, sir. Yes, sir. First quarter, Tantasco punting. It is blocked by Cole Fontana, recovered by Jack Fontana. He sounded like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Later in the drive, Grafton going to the air. Devin Senya hauling it in. Sets up first and goal. However, I think the defense held. What do we have here? Now we got Jordan Choquette with the keeper. 14-yard run down to the five-yard line. You do the math. <laughs> now it is Tantasqua. Matt Brissett pounding it into the end zone. 7 0 Tantasqua. Grafton, though, comes back and they win it 27 to 7. Right here. Northbridge and Oakmont. This is the 1 4 game in D5. First quarter, Rams defense. Keenan Kunama, Chad Vaudre with the big stop. This would force a punt. Vaudre giving the Dikembe Matumbo to the fans. Sets up the Northbridge drive. Kobe Schofer rolling. Switching hands will flip past the Chandler Brooks for a touchdown. Six nothing. The Northridge Rams. Then a little defense from Brooks. Steps into the route with the interception. Northridge defense takes over. Second quarter. Chauffeur running. Good sign for the Northridge offense. Chauffeur running, making plays with his feet again. Long run. First down inside the 30-yard line. Set up Jake Wood, and Woody pounds it in. 12 nothing. Greatest show on turf. They're back. Next ramp possession. Schofer, after a couple big runs, just pounds it in. This is a physical matchup. There's a lot of laundry on the field. Freddie King was presiding. Northridge oh, wins 51 good. to 6. I hope you're ready to go tonight. If you are not, please check your pads at the bus and go home. This is why you play football. For games like tonight, I promise you, they are going to write stories and talk about this game for a long time. 20 years from now, they're going to say, I saw Hector Petrie outduel Cooper Bigelow. I saw Dylan Ramos make an interception and take it back to the house, and BVT came to St. Bernard's and beat the hell out of them. I promise you, they are going to talk about this game for years. How do you want it to end? You want you want to be an ending in someone else's fairy tale, or you want to write your own ending? All right, Archie's got him fired up. You know what? And that's a Northbridge guy. I was getting right off the really hop. The Hector Petrie to Christopher Lira, 73-yard touchdown strike, and the Beavers going up seven nothing. Second quarter now. Bernardians answering. Aaron Robichaux up the gut for the score. Add the conversion. It's eight seven St. Bernards. Late second quarter, Cooper Bigelow on the keeper. He scores. St. Bernard's advancing to the D6 final, 42 to 25. The Navy SEALs, when, when, when do they attack? First. For at night. They attack at night. They run an ambush. Just like we're going to ambush Littleton. No one gives us a shot in hell. No one gives us a shot in hell. We got to ambush them. Navy SEALs, when they win territory, they put the American flag down. West Boylston, when we take over a place, we take over Littleton High School right now, we put this up right here. Pass down flag! Ah! Mike Ross has done it again. They're gonna write there stories. he is, with a camo hat. Him. They're already writing stories yeah. about him. This is West Boylston and Littleton. Second quarter scoreless game. Anthony Rosa with a touchdown run for Littleton. The Tigers are up 6 nothing. And the Tigers going for two. Rosa 
taking the handoff. He is lassoed by Tim McQuaid and a host of Lions. Good gang tackling and WB defense holding. Still in the second quarter, Littleton driving, fourth down. Going for it, Shane Smith all over the screen pass, right in the hip pocket. And West Boylston comes back and they ambush Littleton 14 to six, your final, the WB. Moving on, they will play in the championship game. I'll tell you what, Mike Ross has done a phenomenal job coaching that team and getting those kids ready to play because you and I, everyone else thought, hey, Littleton is the team in that division. They are the class no of Division question. Six, and they went up this tonight on the road. West Boston ambushed them. Rossi has done it again with the pregame speech, hey, and they play really tough football. No, no question. And that had to be Tucci's hat because it barely fit on Rossi's head. How about St. John's coming back a week later, going up to Doyle Field and knocking off the number one Lemonster team, at least number one uh, for a long time this season behind Neshoba. St. John's gets the win. Cassidy does it all over the football field. Moriarty's got it all mixed up on offense. It's going to be fun next week. And they St. got Neshoba, Neshoba next week, and That'll Neshoba showed off all their weapons. Yeah. Five, six different running backs, including the quarterback. They will be a tough game. All right, plenty more to come with Hollywood Hulk Hogan on the frenzy right after this. Discover the Toyota of your dreams today at Herb Chambers Toyota of Auburn. Find the service you'd expect from a 2014 Toyota President's award-winning dealership. We have a huge selection of new Toyotas and pre-owned vehicles for you to choose from. Shop with confidence at the Auburn Chamber of Commerce's best new and used automotive dealership. We've got the perfect Toyota waiting for you. Visit us at Herb Chambers Toyota of Auburn today, right on Route 20, or online at HerbChambersToyotaOfAuburn.com. What's the rush, Coach? It's Friday. I need to make a deposit before the bank closes. Haven't you heard? Bay State Savings Bank has a brand new virtual branch. You can deposit that check right from your phone. You can also open accounts and complete other transactions right from your mobile device or home computer. So now I can do my banking from anywhere. It's banking at your convenience so you have more time to do the things you enjoy, like watch, watch the, the Friday Night, Night Football, Football Frenzy. Bay State Savings Bank. We take banking personally. Member FDIC. DIF Equal Housing Lender. When it comes to health care, one phone number is all you need to remember. 855-UMASS-MD. 855-UMASS-MD connects you to our network of more than 1,600 great doctors with expertise in every specialty for adults, kids, and babies. More doctors, more expertise, more locations. Wherever you are, we are there. UMass Memorial Healthcare. 855-UMASS-MD. Welcome to the Compass Tavern. At the Compass, we offer a delicious menu featuring the best American style in New England dishes made from scratch in our kitchen. Come bring the family and enjoy your favorite sporting events on one of our 16 TV screens. Mention Friday Night Football Frenzy and you get 50% off our sumptuous appetizers. Or come in for our exceptional Sunday brunch. Whether it's lunch, dinner, or special celebrations, the Compass Tavern is the place to go. Friday Night Football Frenzy is brought to you by Unibet, Holy Cross Athletics, the Law Offices of Joseph J. Corrigula, the Compass Tavern, St. John's High School of Shrewsbury, Perterra Nissan of Auburn, Poochies, Milford Federal Savings Bank, College Advisors. Visit us online at collegeadvisors.net and Carl's Oxford Diamond. All right, well, as we mentioned, that uh, first block there, all playoff games. Yeah. We mentioned some other big games on the slate, on the docket. Shepherd Hill and Algonquin, a huge one. This Measuring is as good stick. as it gets, certainly out of the playoff race today, but two teams that could be in it any other year. All right, third quarter, 14 all game. The Gonks, Max Sarasoli on the touchdown run. 21-14 Algonquin, that capped an 8-minute and 45-second drive. Fourth quarter, Jake Zablocki for the Hill, showing off the speed, Zabs. 65 yards to the land of six, and we're all tied up 21 apiece. More from Shepherd Hill. David Sarkoti takes the pitch, 
Doesn't look like him. Looks like a marauder instead. That is not. That looks more like an Ambrosia. It's a teammate. He gets in. Now here is that's, Scott Ambrosia. No, nope, this Ambrosia. is our. Yep, yeah, here's Ambrosia. That's Ambrosia. The other one was 30. He's in for Gelb. the touchdown. It was Gelb before. Bob Goblin. 28 <laughs> 21, Shepherd Hill. Now, under 28 seconds to play. It is Max Sarasoli in for the touchdown. 28 27. So the Algonquin down by one. They go for two in the win. Ryan Berry to Billy Palomaros. Great catch. You got it. Algonquin, a winner, 29-28 in a thriller. Fire! Sir Shrewsbury and North Middlesex. And here we go, first quarter, 8 nothing. At this point, Shrewsbury, North Middlesex, Joe Haskins going deep to Corey Partridge. He's alone. Partridge behind the secondary for the touchdown. 8-7, Colonials with the lead. Shrewsbury would answer, Jake Aisi. And great speed by the senior co-captain, Aisi. Going for the touchdown, 15-7, Shrewsbury. This was a banged up Shrewsbury team, remember, a week ago. They got Aisi back, second quarter. Aisi's going to come right at you. Look at the, they had some fog up there in the Northland. They did this. Aisi's uh, gone for another touchdown. The and there you go. Shrewsbury getting a good performance tonight up north. Groton Dunstable and Fitchburg. Third quarter, 23 to 8. Groton Dunstable, Fitchburg airing it out to the end zone. Billy Mitchell, good defense, breaks it up. It was definitely more humid up there. Yes, and there was some rain coming yeah. down. Crusaders, Logan Higgins with a good run for Groton Dunstable, cutting it back, dragging tacklers. Higgs just leading by example. Same drive, fourth quarter. Shane Dawson going up and over the top, a la Billy Sims. Herschel Walker esque. He's in for the touchdown. It's 30 to 8, Groton Dunstable. Sean Grady loves that reference. Groton Dunstable with some defense. Dawson and oh. Andrew Delaney causing the fumble. Crusaders recover. Groton Dunstable with an emphatic 30 to 8 win. That's a big win for the Crusaders. Here comes the Hudson Hawks, Kevin Shea's favorite movie. St. Peter Marion's up there. Quarterback for Hudson is Stephen Miranda. Little known fact, his uh, older sister's in my class over at Assumption College. Hands the ball to Jesse Nemerowitz. Nobody can stop him. Touchdown, Hawks. Wow. The Miranda family's going to be going crazy because Stephen's playing great football right now. Now it's St. Peter Marion. Do you think his sister it's watches the turn. program no, on a Friday doesn't. night in college? No, no. The Assumption kids, they're out having a good time, preparing for the next class. Evan Montanez with the interception there. And then that leads to another Hudson Hawk touchdown. Nemerowitz barreling in 14-0, but eventually St. Peter Marion comes back. Danny Mom. Hand of the ball to Anthony Baldino. Baldino's in. They got a few more after that. St. Peter Marion gets the win. All right, the so assumption there you go. kids are doing look lives right now. Yeah. Practicing yeah. for your class. They should be. Get ready. Study Let's kids. Southbridge and Auburn. Third quarter, Southbridge out 14 to 7. Nice run by Giovanni Ortiz. Later in the drive, Southbridge trying the reverse. But Joseph Coughlin and the Auburn defense right there. Good pursuit, and they smell it out. Fourth quarter, TJ Medlin. Look at the speed Medlin has, and a good stiff arm at the end of it. Medlin still on his feet inside the red zone. Then from inside the five, Adam Weldon taking it in for the score. 21-7 Auburn. Auburn wins 21-7. All right, Abby Kelly, first varsity game with head coach Matt Lemire. He Ready to shredded. go. They, uh, he's a shredded up. They got some D1 wow. guys coaching the team over there. 14-6 off for uh, Oxford. Now Cristo to Emeka Iguatu for the touchdown. 14-12, the lead cut down. Abby Kelly's jacked and pumped. Fourth quarter. Fourth and long for the Bears. Cristo, Noah. Airing it out, going to the oh, guy, oh. Iguatu. What a grab by Emeka, he's into the end zone. 18-14, Abby Kelly, they had a huge crowd there. They had the fat heads in the stands, there they are. Abby Kelly crowd was outstanding tonight. Brian Morse was there, everybody was there. Big hit Woo. from Zach Renahan, delivering the big pop on defense for O-Town. But the Bears keep coming. Christo, rolling, throwing a good ball. Abby Kelly was undefeated in their junior varsity schedule. This is their first varsity game. Matt Kerr with the big gainer. Jim the Coach Angel Kerr Reinhardt is right is in right his there. face. And then Greg Asare rumbling, putting it away. Abby Kelly wins their first ever game, 24-14 over Oxford Junior Sophomore freshman. They're going to be good. Wow, congratulations to the Bears. All right, we got Bartlett 
and Sutton. First quarter scoreless game, Bartlett punting, and Josh Patterson downs it at the one yard line. Next play, Sutton on offense, Tucker Hurley. Taking off, Tucker Hurley. Sprinting 99 yards for the touchdown, running out of a couple of shoestring grabs. That's got to be the longest play in the Seven, history of Sutton nothing. football. Sutton, at very least, it ties. That's the longest. right. Yeah. Now, more from Sutton. Tommy Mooney. Mooney gets some good blocking. Good field vision, too. Mooney breaking it inside, breaking it outside. He's got speed. Mooney's got a big gainer. Same drive. Next quarter, it's the fourth quarter. That's Noah Kraft. Eight yards on the touchdown. 14 0 Sutton in front. Then more from Sutton. Damian Yargo into the land of six. 21 0 Sutton. Sutton wins it 28 to 8 tonight. This is Asimut and Clinton. We're picking up the action with Clinton ahead 32 to 10. Asimut with the ball, but there's a fumble on the play, and Andrew Daniels of Clinton pouncing on it. First down, Gales. Little known fact, uh, Gales defensive coordinator, Hawk Cannon. His niece was in my class once as well. And this leads to a touchdown. Tom Russell going in. Two-point conversion is good. 40 to 10. Clinton Gales. He was a bookworm, wasn't he? Later, yeah, good student. Asimut, Gabriel Souza fires here, but great play by Trevor Burton and the pick. Much like her uncle. And here it comes Asimut. No, it's yeah, it is Asimut again. Souza. Getting in, Clinton gets the win, 40 to 17. <laughs> All right, you and I were talking about this before the show, but this Algonquin win is just huge for that program. You know, Shepherd Hill, everyone's saying, all right, they're not going to make the playoffs. They could be the best team in Division IV. They're playing an Algonquin team that's had a very good season so far, looking for that big statement program win. Well, this is it tonight. They beat a very tough and a very talented Shepherd Hill team, and I love going for two yeah, in the win. Yeah, you absolutely love, love that call. Going for two. Go for the victory, and you know what? Auburn finishes there. There's, they continue to win. They're getting better and better, and so they can't be overlooked. Southbridge is a very good team. St. Peter Marin gets a win. Shrewsbury is getting a little healthy, and so there's a lot of good teams that are playing football that aren't in the tournament right now. Groton Dunstable, huge yeah. win at Fitchburg on the road, and that's an emphatic win, too, for the Crusaders. That's a big one to build upon Cam as Jandro well. Cam Jandro behind the camera Plenty also more was in my class. Plenty more from the frenzy right coming up next. Hi, Anthony Torrey, General Sales Manager here at Patera Nissan, your number one Nissan dealership in central New England. Save $3,500 off all in-stock roads. 2015 Nissan Altima. Save $5,000 off all in-stock Altimas. And for 2016, introducing the all-new, redesigned Nissan Maxima and Murano. Deal you're looking for, I've got it. I guarantee you I'm going to give you one of the best prices around. Patera Nissan, Route 20, Auburn, Massachusetts. It all starts with a touch. The smallest thing that sets her heart in motion. The rhythm of love, the only jewelry powered by her heartbeat. I'm District Attorney Joe Early, and I'm proud to partner with Charter Communications with our pledge to help raise awareness that bullying should not be tolerated. From local school students, here is our message. Delete cyberbullying. Don't write it, don't forward it. Think twice what you type. We need to foster safe environments for students in their schools and communities. Join the anti-bully crusade. Take a stand to lend a hand. Don't be a bully. Presented by the law offices of Joseph J. Coriglia. College Funding Solutions understands the overwhelming tasks that high school students are facing when it comes to making that all-important transition from high school to college. We further understand the concern parents face when it comes to paying for their students' higher education. College Funding Solutions keeps the student's primary goal in mind, receiving the highest quality college education at the most affordable price. I am a registered representative with Cetera Advisor Networks. Call us today for more information. There's something about central Massachusetts that makes it a great place to live and work. Our history, our heritage, our values, our resilience and drive to innovate. At Unibank, we're proud to call Central Massachusetts home, and we're committed to remaining true to our founding purpose, to be the best bank for all customers, large and small. Unibank, big bank know-how, community bank attitude. Member FDIC, member DIF. The Friday Night Football Frenzy is presented by 
Bay State Savings Bank, Herb Chambers Toyota of Auburn, and UMass Memorial Healthcare. All right, some ISL football, prep school football for you. Our director, producer, Sean Grady, says emphatically, Lawrence Academy is back. They are the best prep school team in the area, loaded with D1 talent. Taking on Belmont Hill. Belmont Hill turns out some football players. A lot of hockey players, though, coming out of Belmont Hill. A lot of hockey at Lawrence Academy as well. Spartans on defense. Isaiah Collins on the rush. Lawrence Academy's Doug Rodier. And Joseph Lucchetti with a big stuff. Lawrence Academy on offense. Glenn Smith with the direct snap. Weaving his way 20 yards to the house. 14-0 Spartans. More from Lawrence Academy's defense. Mike Piazza, really? Mike Piazza's pass picked off by Sharon Daly Harris. 25-yard return for the score, 21-0 Spartans. That's all right. Piazza's number one sport. It's baseball. Everyone knows that. Second quarter, Spartans on the move. Jake Cassidy hits Dimitri Jackson. A great grab by Jackson into Belmont Hill territory. Lawrence Academy capping the drive. D1 prospect A.J. Dillon rumbles in from three yards out. The Spartans roll 50 to nothing. Your final. All right, our game of the week in the college ranks, Worcester State and Westfield State. Always a good rivalry game in this one because you've got two teams, two schools that compete for recruits in the area and regionally, and you have two teams that are trying to finish their season strong. Worcester State on a three-game winning streak looking to continue to stay hot. Once we got the first win, you know, it just started clicking, and we know the formula to win, and it's, uh, essentially it's a tale of two seasons. You know, we started off bad 0-5, so we're looking to finish off strong 5-0. Right now we're 3-0 in that second half, second season for us. So, I mean, this game right now is huge. We got a lot of people that were either looked at by Westfield State, have friends that go to Westfield State. It's close. It's been a rival. It's always been a big game. Last year was a big game. Good continuing. I mean, give us our be give it the best effort we got, and then hopefully come away with W. Westfield, kind of like in the same boat as us. You know, they're a very young team also, and they've been in a lot of really tight games. So it's, it's always been a real good rivalry for us so we gotta you know play our best there are a few schools that we really recruit heavily against each other you know Westfield happens to be one of those uh, you know they get some Central Mass guys and we get some Western Mass guys and there's a lot of overlap so uh, you know plus both the staffs we're both very good friends too so it's it's a uh, it's a really good situation any team from here on out they're beatable and that's the mindset we have we don't think any team can come in and beat us so we just have to execute practice hard and stick to the game plan. All right, the venerable Brian Cullen in his 33rd season with the Lancers. They host Westfield State. Our game begins on tape delay at 7 o'clock. And the Lancers talking about Kev finding themselves. It really clicked for them. Even in a loss to Fitchburg State earlier this season, they began to click. They began to gel. They had a couple of new faces and new parts that they inserted into the program this year. Thought they'd be pretty good. Now those parts are starting to gel they're on a three-game streak. Their goal is to finish 5-0 and in the second half of the year. And special teams, a big part of that, too. Their kicker, at least what was going to be their starting kicker, was out with Mono earlier in the year. They lost a game to Bridgewater State by three points. In that game, they missed three extra points and two field goals. If they have the guy who's kicking now in there, could be a different scene. So right now, they have a lot of confidence in the kicking game. And really, the coaching staff saying it was the players who turned the season around. They got together. They got that cohesion needed. And right now, they're hitting on all cylinders. They're running the ball well, and the passing game is working as well for the Lancers. All right, should be a good one. Westfield State, Marcus Pettigrew, one of the greats, leading that defense, the former Auburn star. We're back with Man of the Match right after this. Looking for a local lender you can trust? Come to Milford Federal, your family financial center since 1887. Go to MilfordFederal.com to apply online. Loan service locally by Milford Federal. You want to have a sense of plot. So the fourth root of Z to the ninth. St. John's is preparing me for the technology of the future. The AP courses I'm taking now will give me a head start in college. St. John's was a great experience for me, and I was very happy to have my sons follow me at St. John's. St. John's prepared me for going to Cornell and Tufts Medical School, and now I'm back in Worcester practicing orthopedics with my father. I participated in the Model UN, and now I have a passion for world affairs. See the impact that St. John's is having on students today. Who's that, Daddy? That's the world famous Chunkingdale. Wow. Let's get down here, heat up. 
Hey, where's, where's the, the new guy? guy? Look how skinny he is. E, 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 e. Big food, big ah. fun at Carl's Oxford Diner. Yeah. What's the rush, coach? It's Friday. I need to make a deposit before the bank closes. Haven't you heard? Bay State Savings Bank has a brand new virtual branch. You can deposit that check right from your phone. You can also open accounts and complete other transactions right from your mobile device or home computer. So now I can do my banking from anywhere. It's banking at your convenience so you have more time to do the things you enjoy, like watch, watch the, the Friday, Friday Night Football, football frenzy. frenzy. Bay State Savings Bank. We take banking personally. Member FDIC. DIF Equal Housing Lender. Discover the Toyota of your dreams today at Herb Chambers Toyota of Auburn. Find the service you'd expect from a 2014 Toyota President's Award-winning dealership. We have a huge selection of new Toyotas and pre-owned vehicles for you to choose from. Shop with confidence at the Auburn Chamber of Commerce's best new and used automotive dealership. We've got the perfect Toyota waiting for you. Visit us at Herb Chambers Toyota of Auburn today, right on Route 20, or online at HerbChambersToyotaOfAuburn.com. When it comes to health care, one phone number is all you need to remember. 855-UMASS-MD. 855-UMASS-MD connects you to our network of more than 1,600 great doctors with expertise in every specialty for adults, kids, and babies. More doctors, more expertise, more locations. Wherever you are, we are there. UMass Memorial Healthcare. 855-UMASS-MD. Local news from Central Massachusetts for Central Massachusetts. 28 cats are rescued from a Worcester apartment. The holidays are one of their busier times during the year. The crews work here to learn how to be better prepared for the unthinkable. A horrific scene on Route 20 Monday morning. Work will start to make the dangerous curve on Route 20 safer. Reporters in the field. And an in-depth local forecast. Worcester News tonight on Charter TV3. All right, man of the match time. My man of the match goes to Holy Name running back Thomas Leck. He had four touchdowns tonight. Holy Name defeating Doherty. And remember, in the beginning of the season, Holy Name started off 0-2. They had that big road win over Bedford. They win tonight. They'll be playing for a championship game. Thomas Leck, a huge part of it. He is my man of the match. All right, my man of the match goes to St. John's quarterback Tim Cassidy, icing it late and playing big-time football all the way through this one, St. John's getting a big win over Lemonster, and now it's Neshoba and St. John's for all the marbles in Central Mass. Tim Cassidy, man of the match. But you know what, Kev? We saw some future stars as well. Guys like Emeka Iguatu for Abby Kelly. Yeah, really this guy good. can really play. He's, he's a tall guy. You know, he was dinged up a little bit throughout the game, but Noah Christo got, Christo got him the ball a couple of times. Abby Kelly, they had a lot of juniors. Uh, they only had five juniors, but they had a lot of sophomores and freshmen in that game. They play pretty good football. I mean, Oxford's had a rough go of it, but this is an interesting team, an interesting team to watch. They play South next week, but in the years to come, they've got some good players over there and a about, great staff. How about St. John's? Two weeks in a row on the road at Doyle Field. You lose a week ago and come back one week later. You beat a very good, a very talented Lemister team. I had a, a former professional NFL football player told me he watched the game last week and said, this Lemister team is phenomenal. They are outstanding. St. John's a little dinged up too, but Tim Cassidy and the Pioneers found a way to win. They grinded it out. Now they take on a Neshoba team that has so many weapons and they just run that offense so well. Neshoba doesn't make mistakes. They're very hard to defend against. It's going to be on that front seven next week for St. John's to stop that Neshoba attack because they're going to want to control the clock and the game. Find someone outside of Grafton or The Rock that would tell you it would be Grafton and Holy Name in Division 4 for the Central Mass title. Two ground and pound type teams. Melifanwu going against Mensa. We got some great athletes in this one. Two teams that really came together late in the year and beat teams that beat them in the regular season. Grafton beating Tantasqua and Holy Name beating Doherty tonight. West Boston lost their opening yeah. game of the year to Littleton. And then they go up to Littleton tonight with all the marbles, the playoffs at stake, a Littleton team that is rolling that everyone, including us in the media, is saying this is the best team in the division. And West Boylston pulling out the win. They trailed 6 nothing at the half. Hats off to that West Boylston team and that coaching staff. Mike Ross in the Navy SEALs speech. He's done it again, but I'll tell you what. Who would have predicted going into this season that West Boylston would be playing for a championship? Yeah, and you, know, you can't overlook a team like St. Bernard's. They just keep winning. We don't get to see them that much, but they're a tough, tough team.
and Northbridge another shutout. What else is new? We'll see you tomorrow night at 7.